Hello everyone, it's Stephen Schaefer and I want to, today I want to talk about how I do the 360 photos for listings. So there's a couple places you can put the 360 photos uh, that people can view them. Uh, the, the internet site that they go on has to support that 360 view. On an individual basis, uh, Facebook will support them for photos. Uh, on a a slideshow or a video, YouTube will support them, and then probably the most significant one is that Zillow has a platform to support the 360 photos and actually stitch them together into a house tour. The camera itself takes a full uh, picture on one side, and at the same time, it has a lens on the back side that's identical. So some people refer to it as 720 rather than 360, but it goes all the way around the room and it goes up and down. So people can see the ceiling, they can see the floor, they can see all the way around the room. If they have a tablet and you move the tablet, it will move with you. If you want to use your finger, you can do that. In the Zillow platform, there's arrows to move around the room. Uh, if you have a mouse, you can do it that way. So people can see the entire room. And then on Zillow, they're stitching it together to give you sort of a full house layout. And uh, I wanted you to see how this works. So what happens is it's actually controlled by the phone. We'll let my phone wake up here for a minute and you take the picture. The phone connects to the camera by a Wi-Fi that's generated on the camera and then generally I would step out of the room. I won't do it now but I would step out of the room so I'm not in the photo and I just snap the picture. It grabs the picture and I have it stored on the camera where I can load it into the different sites. If I'm doing a Zillow platform of 360 photos, it loads directly to Zillow from the listing. Um, I hope that helps you understand how the 360s work and I look forward to photographing your house next.